Another visual tool that gives us new insight into our data set is the Code Relations Browser. And the Code Relations Browser is going to show us how often codes overlap each other. So you'll have codes on the y-axis and on the x. So to start, even before we click on Code Relations Browser, we can select or limit which codes are going to be shown. So if we're interested mostly in our interview guide topics, I might start by activating just that group of codes. And here I'm going to right click and choose activate. Alternatively, I could hold control and click on it. That allows me to activate or deactivate quickly. So now I have the uh, codes activated that I would like to have on my Y axis. Now if I go to Visual Tools and Code Relations Browser, you'll see a prompt here and it will ask if I want to indeed limit my Y axis codes to just those that are activated. And in this case, I do. The next prompt we get allows us to select which of the codes we then want to have on the x-axis. And in this case, we only have the option of uh, activating or choosing uh, parent codes or first-level codes and all of their subcodes. In this case, we might want to uh, compare interview guide topics and how often they overlap with other interview guide topics and day-to-day -day issues. So we'll leave those two checked. If I go ahead and click on OK then, the Code Relations Browser is brought up. As we can see, those codes that we activated are here on the y-axis, and all of those codes that we uh, selected in the second window are here on the x-axis. Now, some of them are being cut off a little bit here. We can choose to drag on the barriers between them to make sure we can see them, or we can use any of these three buttons here to change how they are viewed. In this case, I'll just stick with the short ones, the middle icon here. And now we can see visualized each node, which shows us how often, proportionally, these codes are overlapping with each other. So if we wanted to know what overlaps most often with the code overall, we would click on it, go across, and see relationships. Relationships overlaps most often with that particular code. And when we hover over it, we get the list of or the code names and the number of intersections, which is eight. This uh, code relations browser might also be called the theory development tool. If we're looking to develop a theory about what affects overall life satisfaction most often, it would be helpful for us in this case to see that relationships overlap the most often, suggesting that when people talk about overall life satisfaction, uh, they're also talking about relationships, and uh, thereby suggesting that relationships is a very important indicator of overall life satisfaction. Now, this would be one theory. We could also find out if that makes any sense by simply double-clicking on this node and reading those instances where there is an overlap. So here we could see the instances of the overlap, here we see a person talking about how they're overall satisfied with their life, and then they're talking about family and relationships. So this gives us a little more specific insight into why there are all these overlaps in that case. Now, there are all kinds of different ways you can work with this data. Uh, just to go through the toolbar really quickly, we can always choose to show this visualization as an Excel table. We can choose to export either as an Excel file or as a PNG file. We can take a snapshot, which will show a picture then of exactly what we're viewing. So we can take this window and make it the size and width that we're interested in. Maybe we're only interested in showing a certain section of it. Then we have the column width options. Depending on how many codes we're showing, it may be helpful to go down to no names so we can see it all in one picture. We also have the show values icon. If I click on that, it will then show me the exact number of overlaps that are behind each one of those nodes. It may also be because of your uh, specific coding rules that you don't over have very many overlaps. Uh, in this case, it would be helpful to just see which codes are near 
to other codes. And that's what this icon does. It switches the function from looking and counting for overlaps to counting when these codes are just near to each other. So if I click on that, you can see a slight change. To specify exactly what qualifies as being near, I can click on the options. And here it lets me set, okay, they need to be in the same paragraph or they can be one paragraph away from each other, these two codes, and it would still count then as being near. We also have the option of switching from uh, square nodes to circle nodes. And we also have the option of making it a doc document-based count. In other words, it's only going to count how many documents there is an overlap in. This is helpful in cases where maybe you have health and uh, recreation overlapping 10 times, but nine of those overlaps are happening in a single document. So we can check on that simply by clicking document-based. It will then only count the total number of documents where there's an overlap. In this case, uh, recreation overlaps with health in four different documents. This icon here allows you to refresh if you've gone through and done some coding. You can just click on refresh to start that over again. The white eye in the blue circle will take you to the appropriate spot uh, in the manual to read about the Code Relations browser. And the running man is the same as the X in the top right. It allows you to close the Code Relations browser. Thank mm -hmm. you.